What is up YouTube? High Tech Lab here and today I would like to address a few concerns of some viewers in the living off the grid with no power uh, bill video. Many of the concerns come around the busing. Now this is 3 8 inch by 3 inch wide uh, aluminum busing. I'm running about 250 amps peak, that's 12 kilowatts at um, 200, uh, or my bad, 48 volts. You can do the math, it's Ohm's Law. And um, this bus bar is so overkill, it's ridiculous. Now first off, 3 aught copper wire is good for 200 amps. I have dual or parallel 3 aught, which is then good for 400 amps. Now, 4 aught aluminum is the equivalent for um, for that same amperage. Well, if you look at the amount of copper I have here, and compare it to the amount of aluminum I have here, there's significantly more aluminum. I've measured resistance. The voltage drop on this aluminum is no problem. I'm at $300 in material on the aluminum. I got quotes for $600 for 10 feet. That is just not viable for my case. Also, that was two inch copper I got quoted, and it is a much easier process bolting together um, three inch wide versus two inch wide, trust me. But oh no, what happens if you touch the bus bar? Well, here I have my bare hand. It's not wet, but I don't ever come in this room with wet hands because it's an electrical room. Authorized personnel only. If you're an authorized personnel, you should know not to come in here soaking wet. There is a door over here to the room, and it has a lock. See? Lock. Unlock. Guess who has the key? Me. Guess who doesn't? Everybody else. When it's locked, it's locked. You can't come in. And if you do come in, then you must be authorized personnel. That's simple. That's how you kid. There's, there's no kid that's going to bust through the door, come in here, and touch the busing. And if they do, what happens? Wait for it. As you can see, I am making firm contact. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. You can even see I was making contact. It's 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 60 volts. It doesn't have enough oomph to break down your skin. I know many of you guys are concerned about my safety, and I really do appreciate that, but I built this system, I know what the dangers are, I know what can happen, and that's why I'm the only one that works on it. I, I, I don't mean to be going out on a rant, but I do appreciate your guys' comments and I just wanted to address a few. Thanks for watching, this has been High Tech Lab, you guys have a nice day, Bye bye